The president today traveled to Florida where he has a full week of activity scheduled in the Sunshine State. This trip comes as the president continues to blast James Comey ahead of the former FBI director's book release tomorrow. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with the latest. On the way to Florida, the White House press secretary admitted the president had watched bits and pieces of James Comey's interview, but the administration is hoping to focus on other issues, starting a week in Florida with an event to praise the GOP's efforts on tax reform. Everybody's going to benefit. This. President Trump visiting the Miami area, touting the recently passed $1.5 trillion tax cut package he signed into law. People are hiring and wages for the first time in 18 years are going up. The tax reform roundtable coming as the president further weighed in on James Comey, using Twitter to accuse the former FBI director of committing many crimes, along with his former deputy director, Andrew McCabe. The president's post referring to Comey not filing charges against Hillary Clinton for using a personal email server as secretary of state, months before the FBI concluded its investigation. In a round of interviews ahead of his memoir's release, Comey is hitting back doubling down on claims Mr. Trump is morally unfit to be president. Most leaders, all leaders that I've known, have some sort of external framework. They, they make the hardest decisions by touching a religious tradition or philosophy or logic or history or tradition. I never saw any of that with Donald Trump. The White House saying the former FBI chief lacks credibility. I think Comey is sort of this almost perfect character for this moment. He is not loved by, by, by any side of these, of these passionate battles. And in, in some ways, um, Comey himself and, and, and the resonance of this, of this book capture that. Over the next two days, the president will host Japanese Prime Minister Abe and his wife. The White House says the two leaders will explore ways to expand fair and reciprocal trade. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.